What's going on there guys? Good evening. Uh, it is the Earthmaster here with an update video on this uh, beautiful Saturday evening, October 30th, Halloween tomorrow. It is 2021, 620 p.m. California time where the latest quake on the Earthquake 3D globe is a 4.9 down here along the Kermadec Trench. Pretty shallow earthquake at 10 kilometers. Of course, it looks like there was a 5.5, a little bit further north in a much deeper level of the earth. So what do we got going on out here? A lot of folks waiting for the auroras to kick in. And uh, I think it's kind of running a little, a little late, potentially. Stuff like this is kind of hard to forecast. I mean, even though the flare and CME, CME was directly related or directed towards the earth, we, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to forecast. Kind of like the weather, if you will, you know. Meteorologists cannot really get the weather correct most of the time. So, you know, trying to figure out this space weather type stuff is a little bit difficult as well. But I still believe it's coming. They're still forecasting the uh, G3 storm, KP index of 7. Looks like on the uh, KP index here, it looks like it has arrived. Part of it has. We did see an uptick in uh, some levels there up around the KP4 index. On this chart, you can see that yellow mark right here, but on the forecast here, it just doesn't look impressive like a G3 storm. This does not look like a uh, significant solar storm, but I still think uh, I still think it's kind of coming. And according to these folks here, the anticipated coronal mass ejection, which, which is a CME, has yet to pass uh, the Discover spacecraft, which monitors current solar wind conditions between the sun and earth. Uh, the proton levels as measured by the ACE spacecraft continue to gradually rise today, meaning the CME is still likely incoming. Just running a little bit late and slower than expected. And of course, we're you know watching these charts, seeing when that thing kicks in. Of course, when it does kick in, these will rise way up here to uh, potentially a K, uh, KP index of 7. And uh, this will light up significantly uh, in different colors here, yellow, orange, and... Uh, will be much lower on the uh, on this globe here so we'll see we will see what happens tonight what do we got for earthquake activity there was a almost six pointer almost a six pointer because we had a 5.9 way down here south of the australia area western indian Art antarctic ridge 5.9 at 10 kilometers that was earlier today since then seen a little bit of uptick in earthquake activity of course along the kermadec trench here with this 4.9 Pretty shallow, right into the trench region. Also some activity near the South America region and also just off the coast of Chile with a uh, pretty good size 5.0 in the West Chile rise. Some deeper movement into the Peru Chile trench with a pair of earthquakes uh, well below 100 kilometers, 4.2 and 4.2. Up here in the Puerto Rico area, looking at some seismic activity increase around the Puerto Rico region and also just down here south off the coast of Puerto Rico. Very typical to see swarming activity there in that region. Some deep movement off to the west, including a 3.8 at 108 kilometers. That's pretty, uh, pretty deep movement in the region of Puerto Rico. Into the states, right along the border it looks like. 3.3 on the Texas side here. 3.4 kilometers below the surface for that earthquake. California, what do we got going on in California? We are seeing some heightened earthquake activity uh, through the Sierra Nevadas. Antelope Valley within the last hour, a couple hours, has seen an increase in earthquake movement. And also the Tonopah area, we're kind of seeing some movement where some areas filled in with uh, some microquake activity. Filled in, meaning that this area here and also the area near Tonopah uh, two separate swarms, but we're getting quite a bit of earthquake movement in between them. And uh, just kind of kind of filling in the gaps, so to speak. Quiet activity along the uh, Cascadia for now, far as surface rupture goes into the Pacific Northwest, 2.7 uh, near Verlot. Hopefully that's correct. Washington at 15.9 kilometers. Northern California, as I mentioned, some activity in the Sierras. A little bit of creeping activity along the creeper creeping section of the San Andreas Fault. 
and uh, some activity in Southern Cal, but not, man, this is just quiet down here in Southern California. Just a couple small scattered earthquakes, uh, including some on the east side of the Salton Sea, just off the Brawley seismic zone. But uh, overall, kind of quiet in the Southern California region, up through Idaho and Montana. Things uh, just kind of moving a little bit. Nothing significant, just a couple twos throughout Montana area. Looking at the Yellowstone seismograph stations here real quick, we can see the overview of activity at the super volcano in Yellowstone. Uh, looks pretty quiet, folks. We're not seeing any major swarming. Uh, in fact, no swarming or any type of earthquake activity that I can tell. Maybe one little one right here. But overall, uh, pretty quiet in the state of Wyoming. New Madrid areas eastward, pretty quiet. Looking at uh, some activity off the coast of Japan, but overall things along the Pacific are relatively quiet, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and see what we got. Uh, hold on one second here. Check out the trimmer map here real quick along the uh, Cascadia. Things are very quiet. Uh, the movement up around Seattle Vancouver region, pretty quiet, uh, only uh, 26, 26 epicenters. There is some movement on the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone there in the Northern California. A little swarm of activity happening down dip of the Cascadia. See what we got here for the uh, volcanoes. You know quite a bit of people talking and asking about La Palma. Of course, this thing is still kind of kicking up. Not seeing any movement really on the uh, earthquake maps, according to the USGS. But let's check out the EMSC far as the models go uh, when it comes to the earthquake activity. Because kind of like to watch what's going on in that area of the world. Looks like there's a little 4.1. Kicking off. Let's see if we can. There we go. Had a 4.1 and a 4.0. Looks like, uh, or well, earlier today, around the Canary Islands, Spain region, uh, associated with the volcano La Palma over there. There is some. Uh, let's see what we got here. What's Papua New Guinea? It's a week, weekly reports. Just looks like uh, things still kind of kicking up. They did mention about the 4.8 earthquake that was recorded back on the 19th. That one was uh, pretty, pretty large. Uh, of course, they mentioned the largest earthquake recorded since the beginning of the, eru the eruption. It was a 4.9. Uh, it was recorded at 1634 on the 23rd. Both of these events were felt across the Palma Island as well as in some areas of uh, local uh, nearby islands. The vents in the main cone continue to fuse lava. Still some activity kicking up there, folks. Just uh, just kind of watching it. You know, there's there's a lot of speculation on, you know, the potential for collapse and creating a mega tsunami. I did kind of cover that a little bit more in detail in a prior update video. Um, and uh, a lot of folks saying that it's possible, a lot of folks saying that it's not. And if it did happen, it'd only be a small tsunami uh, that would be created, uh, at least distantly. But, uh, yeah, things are still kind of kicking up out there, folks. It's just, uh, it is what it is. Sometimes this stuff can go on for weeks, months at a time. Although right now, just no, nothing significant, no major significant change in the activity of La Palma or Kilauea volcano um, in the Hawaiian Islands. The activity there at the Big Island shows some movement around the Kilauea cr uh, crater area and also Mauna Loa. Southeast flank looking pretty active as well and an oddball quake way off the west coast uh, near Captain Cook, way off the coast of uh, Big Island, 3.1 at 24 kilometers uh, be below the, uh, the sea level there. 
And as I mentioned, that uh, little earthquake they had on the EMSC model just does not, they, they just, well, for whatever reason, do not show the activity on the USGS map. But nonetheless, it's still there. And the activity is continuing at the volcano. All right, folks, I'm going to keep an eye on the solar weather and uh, see when it does come in. There is a Aurora model that's running on the live stream that kind of gives you an indicated uh, up, you know, a little indication of what's going on with the Aurora. Looks like things are kind of still just uh, just kind of watching it, folks. It's just it's nothing significant yet. You know, it, it's uh, it's hard to, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to watch stuff like this and forecast it. Things are always changing. And um, all I know is I think it's I, I'm kind of agreeing with these guys. It's a little late. I think it's going to be a little bit more active than that, than what we're seeing right now. So tonight uh, it's probably the best night to be able to see the uh, um, auroras down at the mid-latitudes. All right, guys, have a good night. Stay safe out there, and uh, we will catch you guys a little bit later on. Peace out.